Hey everyone, Hayden Miyamoto from No Head Digital here, and today I'm going to give everyone a sneak peek at my in-house spam checker. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to spam check automatically, algorithmically, but after a few months of doing this, I realized you were throwing the baby out with the bathwater a little too often, and the best way to create a spam checker would be to create something that facilitated the manual spam checking of domains, and this is that tool. So no matter what, you have to start with a seed list and then import it into the tool. Um, you can create that seed list through the normal Xeno scrape box method. You can create it by uh, loading in drop lists. Uh, and in this case, it was created by uh, a custom crawler that I made, which is pretty much the uh, Xeno scrape, X, scrape box method on crack. The first piece of logic uh, that the spam checker has is a basic blacklist. Uh, which you can see right here. Uh, there's both an anchor blacklist for any anchors that it sees, and there's a domain blacklist. So anything that gets taken up by that blacklist sh is shown here. And I can include a bunch of words for you guys to see you know, what you might want to include in a similar blacklist. By far the most important feature of this tool is actually hooking into Ahrefs uh, into the anchor cloud. So when I first came up with the idea, uh, I actually told Han to try it, and he first tried scraping uh, Ahrefs, which worked quite well for a little while, and it literally it took him maybe half an hour to create a script that would do that. Uh, and what it does is it just scrapes Ahrefs' anchor cloud uh, from you know your standard lookup. This now, Ahrefs is actually very good at stopping this from happening, so we're now using the Ahrefs API, and it, it does the same thing. The basic idea, though, is that instead of you know having to load up a new domain or window every single time and check it out, you can pretty much just scroll down, look at the anchors, look at the domain name, and know right away whether 90% of the stuff is, is spam. Uh, so I'll demonstrate it here. Uh, I'll just right now sort it by, I guess, by name. And obviously we have DA, PA, number of links, the data added, uh, various options. I'll talk about those later and the anchor cloud. Um, so I'm just sorting it here by in alphabetical order. Um, the logic on my spam checkers that I won't show domains that are lower than DA20. Most of the time you can see that they're spam just by uh, the domain name or, or by the anchor cloud. So right here we can say right away 0-0DY, that's spam. So I'm going to click the hide link. Lots of Chinese anchors here, hide, uh, based on the domain name, hide, bedding, going to hide that. I see some uh, weird spam here, weird spam. So keep in mind, if I didn't have this, I would constantly be opening and checking. You know, at this point, I probably would have already spent you know a couple of minutes just waiting for Ahrefs to load. Here's one that doesn't look that bad. It looks like a, a real link. So what the tool has is links to open all of these in new windows. Uh, I always check the www.c to see what the page authority of that is. Uh, so I, I can just command click or control click that. Uh, also the Ahrefs pages to see what the top pages are. If I want to, sometimes you can find a lot of spam subdomains. Sometimes you'll find uh, really good sub pages like blog dot or something uh, where you'd actually want to install WordPress. I always check archive.org and I'm just going to double check Namecheap because as you can see this one was added back in April. <laughs> so it might not be available. And Namecheap shows it's available. So if this is good, someone who's watching this video, go ahead and grab it. Archive.org, I'll just go to some random option. If that doesn't work, I'll go a little earlier. It looks like it didn't drop though, more than once. Yeah, it looks good to me. At least very brief look at it, it looks pretty good. Anyone wants to pick this up, I want to take a little closer look. Top pages, um, you can see that there's like a, a individual page here on page load times, a PDF. Uh, so you probably want to recreate that page or redirect that page, but otherwise no spammy looking stuff here. This was the Joomla domain. So there, we got a domain already. Uh, and here's the www version, which we see has a PA of 21. Uh, and you can see some of the links it has here. And uh, really only one decent link, which is from Meetup and one from the Joomla forum. So based on that, I'd either pick it up or skip it, but we can keep on going. This one right here, based on, it's got a ton of anchors, so I'm guessing that's spam. I'm going to hide that. 
this one, it's, un, it's pretty unclear to tell, but I'll skip over it for now. Uh, this one here looks all right. I'll do the same thing. So Namecheap Archive Ahrefs Pages, WWWSE. Okay, it was recreated. We can see a big gap there. Um, my, I personally don't mind recreated domains as long as it wasn't recreated as spam and link built heavily. So we've got some, yeah, it doesn't look too spammy. And daily limit reached A. Okay, so here's that, uh, the top pages of that domain on another Ahrefs account. You can see, you know, nothing spammy there. So that's good. www. Not really anything too spammy there. And it is available. So someone go ahead and grab that if they want it. Keep on going down. Chinese. Betting. Chinese. Uh, probably not great, so I'm just going to skip over, see some Japanese. Anything like this, you can see it was just spammed to hell with uh, links. Bad domain, foreign language, might be fine, but I don't particularly want foreign sites right now. Yeah, that might be all right. It's the same thing, just my control or command click all this stuff okay just a parked page it looks like still parked Meanwhile, I'll look at the top pages. Oh, there's an upgrade.subdomain. No spam. PA on the www is 35, so that's pretty good. And this looks like it's a totally real site. Nice site. Ooh, adult sports. Eh. So it looks like it was repurposed. But if it's repurposed and it wasn't too bad and I don't see any link spam, it might be fine. Basically, my rules are if it gets turned into a PBN or some kind of like porn or pills or something, then I definitely won't touch it. Otherwise, I'll put it back up and I'll wait for it to get indexed. If it indexes just fine, I'll develop it. And yeah, the domain is available. So anyone wants to grab that, go for it. DA23, PA35, not bad. And I'll just skip over that one for now. I'm entirely sure that is spam. 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 I'm looking for the low hanging fruit here, so pretty much anything that's sort of questionable, I'm just gonna skip over, check it later. Anything that looks like it might be decent. Check right here. It's available, good. Yeah, it doesn't see many links, but it looks all right. Also doesn't see many links, but it looks all right. Ooh, Japanese site. Probably skip on that one. So I'll hide it. Russian. Totally random anchor text. A car insurance company is most likely spam. Hmm, okay. French domain. I have a French PBN, so that would be cool. Available. Real links, no spam on the top pages. 
real links, no spam and no C and several linking returns. No results in the latest one. Yeah, it's real. Okay, anyone want a French domain? There you go. This is a fan site site, which there are tons of, so I'm not gonna do that. Here's another sort of tech one. As you can see, they're all just loading up there. It's available. No spam in top pages. There's a lot of links to the home page. Yeah. Dot edges. Hmm. Looks like it's got a lot of duplicate style links. Whoever picks this up might want to look on a little bit more in detail. Hmm. Looks right. So there's another one. So I could keep on doing this for a while, but as you can see, I kind of I'm finding about maybe a domain a minute or so. Uh, could be, probably be a little bit quicker if I wasn't explaining everything. But as you can see, it's, it's just a lot faster because for me to give up on a domain and say this domain is spam, which 9 out of 10 domains will be, uh, only takes me maybe 5 seconds or, or less. Whereas if I was opening it up in Ahrefs each time and, and checking, it might take me more like you know 30 seconds to 45 seconds. So the reason this video is not to show off and say I'm so cool, um, but it's to say that this is actually really, really, really easy to recreate. Uh, you could probably <clears throat> create this in a couple days very easily. A programmer could make this, or you could uh, do a much simpler version, at least you know, put all these links over here on, on a spreadsheet and turn it into an Excel macro or something. Uh, at least that would save you a bit of time. Um, also, uh, the spam checker is part of the internship, so it's actually you you use it with a pre-populated list from the crawler. This is ac exactly that list actually uh, to find your own domains. So if anyone's interested in signing up for the internship, I highly suggest you do it. It's really cool. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thank you very much for your time, and let me know if you have any questions.